Hi everybody, Even Steven here. Welcome back to my channel. Got my Timu haul. It came early, so doing the video now. Let's jump right into it. So the first thing, oh, I uh, should preface this by saying this is uh, for me a somewhat bigger order, 21 items, so this will be a longer video uh, because I'll go into showing like the papers and stuff in a little more detail. Some things like the big washi stickers pack I may not go through quite everything or show all the measurements but i'll show a lot of the measurements like i usually do things like that reason why i do that is that a lot of people have commented that they appreciate it that i do that so that's why i do it anyways now we can go yeah i had again a bunch of uh credit saved up from returns and price adjustments um, and there are some stuff I really wanted to order so I'm excited looking forward to this so the first thing I've got are a set of nine pieces of acrylic stamping blocks and I paid this was expensive uh, $16.98 for this but it came with a big assortment every size stamping block I could need um, since I'm getting into stamping I was gifted in my happy mail a lot of stamps uh photopolymer clear rubber stamps that uh i needed to get a different assortment of stamping blocks and this one seemed perfect at me so 1698 and they measure a lot of different sizes so i apologize for the crank length i haven't gone into this one yet but i pulled the measurements off of the app for you. So there's this one. This one measures 6.3 by 5.2 inches. Big one. <laughs> and this one measures, I think, 5.2 by 2.36 inches so long tall and skinny for those kind of landscape ones would be perfect for that and they're eight millimeters thick so they're they're pretty thick if you can see that how thick they are so these are good stamping blocks and they have the grid on it you can kind of see that and then this one measures two point 7.5 by 2.75 inch square. This one measures 2.36 by 1.97 inches. Smaller one there, coming handy. This one, another long and tall skinny one. Uh... Nope, actually, this one is the next one, 4.72 by 3.54, so another rectangular one, good size, kind of smaller version of this one. And then, let's see. This one measures 2.75 by 0 0.78 inches, is what the website says. No, this one is 2.75 by 0 0.78 inches. And then this one measures 1.97 by 1.57 inches. And then... Sorry, that one, let you actually see it instead of just the sticker. And there was that one. And then this one measures 1.57 by 1.18 inches. And then last but not least, we have this 4.72 by 1.97 inches one. So nine pieces for $16.98 on that. And then next, I talked about this in previous videos, a set of five blending brushes. This is the TT478 variety in colors that I got, and I paid 
$4.48 for the set of these. And these measure 5.51 inches tall by 0.59 inches. This way across is 0.59 inches. So I'll pop, pop one out. by 0.59 inches and then the length of the brush head itself is 0.98 inches. So and they're super velvety soft. You can see that yeah these will blend really well these brushes. Hopefully they'll be somewhat easy to clean. Um, I'm going to need to figure out a thing to store these in, S storage solution. So the blending brushes, $4.48, good deal. Next we have 100 pieces of mini retro art scrapbook papers. These measure 3.14 by 1.96 inches and I got the number eight variety it says blooming flowers on it you can read that and I paid 84 cents for them so let's open them up I haven't looked at through these yet it comes in a booklet and they're single-sided and the paper's got kind of a cardboardy feel to it. They feel pretty solid, actually, but they're beautiful prints, as you can see. Doesn't look like... don't know if there are any repeats. We'll find out as I flip through them. These are beautiful. Perfect for my junk journals and scrapbooking. Ink the edges. Stick them in little pockets or tucks or belly bands. Or on a card. Back it with something. Sticking out layering piece like that. That's gorgeous. Birds. That's a beautiful one. Eighty-four cents for that. Not a bad deal. How many pages did I pieces did I say? A hundred. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, eighty-four cents. So I think. It may have been repeating, but I'm not completely sure. Yeah, there may have been some repeats. Sorry about that. Get that in frame. Okay, there's that one. Next up, 45 pieces retro literary washi stickers. I got the Traces of Time variety, and these were $1.58, 45 pieces. And I checked these out. These are actual washi stickers. And these come in a few in five different sizes. So they measure in length from 3.718 inches to 1 3 quarters inches, 3 and a half by 1 and 3 16 inches, 4 and 11 16 by 1 inch, 
four and 11 sixteenths by one and nine sixteenths inches, and then two by three and a quarter inches. So they vary, you get five different sizes and you get three different kinds of each. And they are washi stickers. So these are pretty cool. Beautiful flower vintage prints. That's a beautiful one. The rose and the music sheets behind it. Gorgeous. Oh, I love the clock. Oop, losing them. Oh, you get a face. You can see that. Yeah. Some yellows and greens on that one. Purples and pinks. And looks like a dragonfly or a butterfly or a moth or something. These long and thin ones here. It's washi sticker strips. They're almost like collage strips, just in washi sticker form. And then these smaller ones. Yeah. 45 pieces for a dollar fifty-eight. And they come wrapped in this belly band. I like the presentation on a lot of Timu's papers and stickers and things that they come in. I don't really care for the plastic wrap oftentimes, but I guess they got to put them in something. There. Next, we have... 20 pieces of vintage bohemian paper. I got these in a D variety and they're blue shades. They measure 5.51 inches tall by 3.93 inches wide. And I paid $1.69 for these D variety. And it looks like you get two of each 10 varieties. And similar to a paper pad series I got before it says moonlit flowers on them. You get these kind of vellum, ten of these vellum -y sheets first. These are gorgeous. They get ten vellum -y sheets, and then you get the same ones in regular paper. And it's just thin paper. Not thick cardstock or anything like that. And you get the matching papers. These are beautiful. Look at that winter scene. That's gorgeous. These would be good backings for a card, too. Moonlit flower. Not exactly moonlit. I don't think, but that's okay. Okay, next, so for dye storage, I picked up these 20 bags, 24 labels, and 10 magnetic sheets to hold dyes in. And I pay, these are on the spendy side, $9.44.
but with all the dyes I got and getting, I wanted a good way to hold these, and this is a really neat idea. So get 10 of these on the app, and I'll link all of these items unless they're sold out, and there are a couple that are, as of the filming of this, sold out right now. So other than those ones, um, I'll link all these items in the description box below. But you peel one of these pads off that you get 10 of. And the magnetic pads... Measure six and five eighths inches by four and three quarters inches. And it's solid kind of rubber magnetic. And uh, let me demonstrate really quick. Hopefully this works because I haven't actually tried it. Oh, that one's not ferrous metal, so it doesn't work on all dies, only certain dies, I guess. Doesn't work on that one. That came with my little mini die cutter. Oh. I just had it on the wrong way, so you got to put it on the shiny side. There's two sides, a matte side and a glossy shiny side. So that's pretty cool. And then you put it in, and it comes with 20 of these envelopes, and you can get different amounts on the website. Um, I picked the 10 and 20. And these envelopes... The bags measure 7 inches by 5 and 1 16 inches. And then you also get 24 of these labels. And the labels, these small labels that you can put on the outside, you get 24 of them. So you can label what you're doing. And then, yeah, put it on there. And then you can put stamps on the other side if you want to. And then seal it up. That's a neat idea. It keeps your dies nice and organized and not all flopping around inside the bag. So that's really cool. I'm glad I picked these up and invested the extra money in them. I don't know if I'll use the label stickers, but it's nice that it comes with them. So, put those back in there. Put my dies away really quick. Sorry about that. I should have had these ready to go. Can't get the wood to fit. There. And into the drawer it goes. Next. So for my stickers and stuff, I decided to pick up 12 of these plastic storage boxes. And I paid $3.79 for 12 of these, and they measure 2.95 by 2.95 inches square, and then they're 1.02 inches deep. Good deal. You get 12 of them. And they're going to be perfect for holding stickers and little papers and stuff that'll fit in these. So that'll be awesome. Yeah, they're just plastic boxes. And then next, I got a pair of bent nose chain pliers. 
that measure 4.95 inches tall. And I got these mostly because A, I don't have any pliers at all. <laughs> I'm very short on tools. And these bent nose ones seem pretty handy, but the real reason I got them is for when I get new dies. The little nubs when you have like nested dies or you want to break apart dies, the little metal nubs, this will be perfect to twist them off. So that's the main reason why I got these. And I paid $2.39 for these. So not a bad deal. They feel pretty solid in the hand. Metal and then rubberized handles, good grip. And again, 4.5 inches tall. And then next, this has been a long time coming, two-piece bone folder kit. So the tall one measures 8 inches by 0.98 inches around. And then this kind of knife scalloped one measures 4.7 by 0 0.98 inches across. And I paid $1.98 for the set. And it comes in this handy bag that I can use for something else. I'm not sure what, but it's a resealable bag that it comes in, and it's a thick bag too, $1.98. So yeah, bone folder. I can use this one, and this can also score on a scoreboard or something. So finally, I got a bone folder. Yay! The whole set. Okay, the next thing I got is for some of my inks that I got that don't dry very quickly or at all in a couple of cases or so. I got this mini 700 watt heat gun. Little purple heat gun and I paid $7.60 for it. And set embossing powders if I start working with those two and distress inks, things like that. Comes with warning slash instructions, and there's some basic instructions on how to use it. For example, you want it five to six centimeters away from your surface that you're working on and point it at a 45 degree angle notch all the way down. And it comes with this little safety stance thing that fits into place. And then the power cord is a standard power cord, and it's a meter long. And then the device itself measures um, 8.85 inches by 1.85 inches across. And then the nozzle itself measures 0.43 inches across. And this thing, according to the website will get up to 200 degrees Celsius. So on camera, I'm going to try it out and make sure it works. Also, I'm curious how loud it is. So if it's like super loud, I apologize, but I'm going to try it really quick. That's not horribly loud. I'm sure you can hear that. And yeah, that gets hot. But it says, it says not to use it for more than two, three minutes at a time to prevent overheating. And that during that time, this part, the grip part, doesn't get warm or uncomfortable to hold. But I can feel that. That's getting warm really quickly. So a little 700 watt. Hopefully it's powerful enough to set ink. And like I said, that's the main reason I got it to dry inks and set the wet inks that I have that don't seem to want to dry very well. Um, and yeah, it comes in different colors, I believe you can get. I chose purple because purple is awesome. 
And again, I paid $7.60 for it. It also comes with a little, not comes with, but on the product description pictures, there's like a little video that shows them using it on a couple of things. Not super helpful video, but better than nothing. And then this also comes with some shrinking instructions. You can use it to do shrink wrap. And then same instructions on the other side on the box here. But good price for a heat gun. Other ones I saw in craft, craft heat guns in stores cost $30 in the craft stores. So $7.60. See how well it works and how long it lasts. Okay. Next. 100 pieces, double-sided, beautiful life, scrapbook paper, and C-series. Comes in a book, a blue book. I don't know what all this stuff says. But these measure 5.7 inches tall by 3.74 inches wide. And I paid $3.99 for these. And it's cool, I checked these out, and these are in fact double-sided papers. So you get two of each kind. And they're just regular paper. Not thick paper at all, just regular thin paper, but beautiful prints, watercolor prints. I'll just kind of flip through these really quick. That's pretty. I like that design. That's interesting. I like that one. Heart doily in the background. I like this one here, the back. I like that it's double sided and comes with two of each. That way, if you like one, that has both sides that you like of one of these, you get two of them. So you don't have to necessarily choose between the two. That's pretty. Oh, look at that. Faded vintage roses. Yeah, that is that one. Next up, we have got 20 pieces Dreamy Legend scrapbook paper. And this measures 4.44 inches tall by 3.34 inches wide. And I paid $1.98 for these. And I loved how these looked on the website, but I haven't actually gone through them yet. 20 pieces. Doesn't look like it repeats. Single-sided, regular thin paper, but beautiful prints. Oh, I love that. Kind of a Halloween-y, nighttime, gothic vibe on that. That's pretty. These are hard to flip through. So I'll just go like that. Oh, that's cool. She's sleeping. And there's rabbits. 
very kind of Alice in Wonderland vibes on that one. The lady on the front would make a good card front. Then it comes with, I guess, 10 of these kind of translucent vellum ones that seem to match the first 10 again. That's a theme for a lot of these 20 piece paper packs. Still pretty though. And that's those. 20 pieces for 198. Bags coming apart. You have to tape that up. Next, we have some dies. And these are seven piece tag dies. And they vary in measurement from the biggest tag is five and a half by two and seven eighths inches. And then the smallest one nested in there is one and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. And then this little die over here says in cursive for you. And this that little for you die measures one and three eighths inches by 13 16 inches. And so I got those bent nose pliers for when I separate these, any nubs that are left metal nubs that are left behind, I should be able to poke and yank off pretty easily. So I can start making my die cutting my own tags, which is cool. It has these kind of embossed, punched edges around, which will produce a neat effect. And then I can make it out of any cardstock or paper that I want and embellish it, ink it, distress it as I see fit, which will be a lot of fun. And I love it comes with this sentiment too. That's neat. So there's those. And then next, I decided to upgrade my little other corner rounder that I also got from Timu that was cheap, cheaper. It was less than $2, but it only had one size. This is a three in one corner rounder. And I paid $3.45 for it. I got mine in blue. I think you can get them in different colors. But it's got three different sizes. The R10 is the biggest, 10 millimeters. Then R7 millimeters, R4 millimeters. And the dimension on the punch itself is 2.9 inches long by 2.4 inches wide by 1.3 inches tall. And it's got some heft to it. It doesn't feel cheap, even though it's made out of plastic. And it's got the metal punch parts, of course. So test it out really quick. The biggest one first. Cool. And then the R7 millimeter one. Cool. And then the smallest one, which I think is the same size as the one I already have. Cool. I wish it had a little thing to catch the papers, but that's okay. I like it. Now I have options when I round my corners. And I kind of like that it came packaged in a box like this. And again, I paid $3.45 for it. And then the other set of dies I bought were rectangular nesting dies. And the biggest one measures 5.6 by 4.3 inches. And then the smallest one nested there in the middle measures 1.58 by 7 sixteenths of an inch. And it's got these little nubs separating them too. And so what's cool with these is that it was suggested by a friend of mine that 
for things like gold foil backing, I can put in a larger rectangle and then smaller rectangle to make kind of a border window and then have a piece cut out in the middle that I can use with the same card. That way I don't have a full sheet of foil card stock as a layering piece behind. I just have like kind of a narrow strip window border around so it creates less weight on the front of the card which would be nice and i have all sorts of sizes of rectangles now which is cool and for these i paid two dollars and 96 cents for this set of dies so pretty good deal next up 200 piece total set here we've got 120 pieces of scrapbook paper and 80 pieces washi stickers and I got them in the color C variety and I paid a little more for these five dollars and 48 cents but you get so many that it seemed like a good deal and then the bag that these come in is kind of neat I'm just, just making a mess here now come on out you go the bag comes with this design on it, which I thought was cool. So you get an assortment of flora and fauna. I'm showing you all of these is going to be really hard. But it looks like you get a couple of each kind. A couple of foxes there. That's cool. Birds. Pears, <laughs> that's neat. Butterfly, flower, starfish, mushrooms, yay, mushrooms. So yeah, you get a variety of things, ephemera here. And they are stickers, I checked, washi stickers. So they're translucent. 80 of them, so 40 designs, two each. I'll just kind of generally sift through these. Don't worry, I'm not going to take the time on camera to clean these all up and put these away. <laughs> that would end up taking forever. So, just to give you a very basic general idea of what you get in there. And then in the products description, that I said I'll link, like I said, I'll link down below. It comes with all of these that you can zoom in on in a picture, a still shot. So you can always take a look at that on the website. Now we get to the scrapbook paper. That's all the washi stickers, all 80 of them. Oh, there's some more over here. Separate those. Washi stickers are definitely... I'm not going to use this bag except to keep the scrapbook paper in. So, scrapbook paper. Oh, that's beautiful. That little girl with the butterfly wings and the flower. Corner edges are kind of rounded up on that. That's a bummer. So, hold these up to the camera a little better. Some pineapples. <laughs> Bits of ephemera. And the scrapbook paper is pretty thin paper. Giraffes. Neat. Tags. Tags. Oh, these are cool. Good for putting on a tag, scrapbooking, junk journaling. more errant stickers sunflowers beautiful sunflowers not sure what kind of flowers those are
Oh, look. Owls. Owls. You can see that. Owl. Another bird. Scrapbooking items, and I'm not going to give you the measurements of these. Sorry, they don't give them on the website either. I apologize. Measuring all of these would have taken forever. So I'll just show them to you. And, but I'm just going to say that they vary greatly in size and shape, as you can tell. But they're not super big. You can tell they don't get much bigger than the palm of my hand. Except when you get to the ones in the back. That's a neat little tag shape. Oh, I like that. The flower with the music notes in the background. Tags. Look at that, the little chick. That's adorable. Beautiful flowers, tags. That's pretty. I knew this pack was going to go be a while going through, so because you get two of each, but there's still 120 of these <laughs> scrapbook papers. Oh, these are neat. These can be cut apart. Tickets, cut apart. You can fussy cut the white if you want, or you can ink the edges, which is probably what I'd do. Distress them. Use some distress oxide ink. That's cool. Vintage clock. And then we got the scrapbook paper sheets. Butterflies. Some writing. And these are all willy-nilly. That's cool. Owl. Then some looks like lemons. Crown there. Some pictures there. Not sure what those are exactly. Some birds. And again, this is thinner paper. Definitely scrapbook paper. If I wanted to use any of this for a card making, I'd definitely want to back it on some card stock. But it could be appropriate. Like, this could make a card, potentially. The Weedman Candy Factory. There's that one. That one. That's pretty. Basic colors. Now, the rest of these are all the same size, I believe. Two of each. like field notes kind of thing, organic, to my dear Anne. And then these last two. So yeah, I paid $5.48 for all of that. That's a lot. And the scrapbooking paper will go back into there. These AD washi stickers will go into a plastic bag. Just moving these off to the side. Okay. Sorry that took so long, but I wanted to go through them for you. Next up. We got 60 pieces of flower retro paper, 4.9 inches by 3.4 inches, and I've got the House of Roses variety, 
and I paid $1.79 for these. Sorry about the crinkling, it's kind of stuck in the bag a bit. There we go. These are beautiful and kind of thicker paper, almost like cardstock, at least on the top one. Yeah, the top one's thicker. You can get that butterfly print. Then the inner ones are just semi thicker regular paper. Looks like you get one, two, three, four. A lot of each kind five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of each kind. So then you get that. That's pretty. I like the fence. Ten of those. Ten of these. And ten of these. That's pretty. I love the roses and the flowers. That's beautiful. The rocks in the upper left there, beautiful roses. That'd be a good card, then have a sentiment or something. Or like that, and have a long, thin sentiment going across. Or like that. And that's it for that one. Dollar seventy nine. Six different designs, ten of each design. Next step to help with filming, I'll see how well this works, is a iPhone SDTF card reader. I have a 128 gig micro SD card that'll fit in this thing, so I want to see if this will fit into the bottom of my phone so I can transfer videos and pictures to it and then edit it on my laptop. So that's why I got this. And I paid $3.98 for it. Never heard of this brand before. Cable accessories made in China, $3.98. But it says it's plug and play and I don't need to download an app or any software. It'll just work in my phone's file system. It comes with a little key keychain hole and a little key ring keychain thing there. I'm not gonna open it up, but works with iPhone and iPad, iOS operating system 13 or later. Function no computer transfer. It can be directly connected to U-Disk, card reader, mouse, hub, microphone, digital cameras, and other external devices, data transmission. So hopefully this will work. But I only paid $3.98 for it, so it's a really good deal. Next up, we've got 12 pieces of retro small envelopes. I thought these were really cute on the pictures. These measure 3.74 by 2.83 inches. You get 12 of them, and I paid $1.34 for these. So yeah, they're just little envelopes. Figure I can put these in my junk journal or my scrapbooks as pockets. Stick them down like that. You can glue it by the top fold and have it go like that. But at any rate, they're super cute. So you get that one. Let's see if there's any repeats. These are upside down. I don't think there are any repeats. Upside down again. Upside down. I must do that on purpose. Or maybe not. Nope, no repeats. So yeah, 12 little small envelopes for $1.34. 
almost done here, folks. Getting to the end. Thank you for sticking with me as I go through my fun little team u haul. Next, 100 pieces vintage decorative paper in country manner variety. This measure is 5.12 inches by 3.54 inches, and I paid only $2.78 for all of this. So let's see what we get. I haven't actually gone through it yet. They look really pretty on the website. So it comes in a booklet. And kind of thicker paper. The top is cardstock. And then the paper in there is thicker. Ooh, these are pretty. I like these. Ah, uh, so retro and vintage. Really elegant banner coffee. Very Victorian. That's pretty. So it's that and that. That's interesting. Seen the Illustra. Aw. Little girl and her dog. And then grid system there. Beehive clothing. Some of these would make good card toppers, too. Hasn't repeated so far. Man and a woman. Be a good card topper. So would that. Cut this part out or put a sentiment down here. Yeah, these are gorgeous. In my opinion. No repeats yet. Oh, you yeah, spoke too soon. There's a repeat. Yeah, it does repeat. So, yeah, that's what you get. And these are all repeats. So, Country Manor, 100 pieces for 278. Beautiful. And then the very last thing, 20 pieces of retro paper in style B. I paid $1.79 for this, and the measure is 5.51 inches by 4 inches. I've not gone through this one either comes in this envelope, which is cool. Made out of cardstock and it displays what you get inside. I like this envelope. Kind of folder holder thing. Oop, upside down. And then it looks again like you get 20 pieces and you get some vellum in the back. So there's that one, that one, beautiful. These are really pretty. I love these prints. And then now to the vellum, translucent. Sorry if that's kind of shiny. Open up the glare a bit. And that one. All right, everyone, that's it. Thank you again so much for joining me on this Timu haul. Semi longer one this time. 
And again, I'll be leaving links to the items that aren't sold out in the description box below. So if you like this video, please consider giving a like and subscribing if you want to see more, if you haven't subscribed already. And if not, that's totally okay too. I will see everybody soon in the next video, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye.